Hey YouTube, Mac here. This is video number 10, I believe, of the Bryopsis battle. Uh, this is going to be dose number 6, if I counted that correctly. Um, so today, I uh, wanted to show you that I did actually clear off that rock over there. Uh, uh, removed as much as that stuff as I could. You'll probably still see a few hairs of it sticking up off the rock. Man, that stuff's a pain to get off. <laughs> Let me tell you what. That took a lot of work just on that one rock. So I cleared that rock off and while I was in there I decided to go ahead and clear off my MP40s. As you see they're nice and clear. Now one thing that I noticed on this MP40 um, was where I had some of the bubble algae um, a lot of it was very translucent and very clear it wasn't green anymore so I think that it's actually doing some some damage to um, the little bit of bubble algae that I have in the tank so uh, that to me is a positive sign uh, if you're kind of wondering why everything's blowing around like a monsoon in here uh, because I think I cleaned the MP40s off um, everything is now like functioning like super efficient now and you probably see some debris floating around in the tank that's just because I got everything fired back up except for the sump that is not working at the moment only because I'm about ready to dose and I want to make sure that product gets where it's supposed to go and, and does its thing before it goes down into the sump and I wouldn't say it's lost down there it just would take a little bit longer for it to uh, it cycled all the way through and back into the system. So I wanted to give a, a, a good chance in the main system where the main problem is and uh, see if we can't combat this at a, at a high level. Um, so yeah, this is this is where we're at at, the, at this point. Uh, this is kind of the control rock now. So um, the gentleman from uh, Undersea Creations uh, suggested to, to clear off this rock, which I have now, um, and, uh, and see what, what happens after that. If, if we get some growth, new growth, uh, if this little stubble, I guess you could call it, um, goes away or not. Um, and by the way, um, the uh, gentleman that I've been talking to turns out is the owner of uh, underwater creations so a little shout out to Jeff uh, thanks for watching the video uh, thanks for uh, some of the advice that you've given me uh, taking it as, as I can and, and going from there um, so yeah so this is dose number six and uh, I've already got it all pre-measured out right there it is and uh, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing this is a product called Vibrant um, underwater creations is, is saying that this stuff will rid um, a good portion of algae out of your tank if not all of it um, seen some pictures on YouTube of some pretty good success rates uh, from other people however their tanks did not look like mine um, if you have not watched this and you're wondering why my tank is 90% algae <laughs> We'll go watch video number one. Um, it explains everything there. Um, had a few um, new subscribers, so shout out to them for, for following. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully this video is uh, keeping you informed uh, as to this product and, and maybe if you're sitting on the fence, I would say go ahead and buy the product. Um, even if it doesn't fully work like like the, the they're saying that it does, um, even if it rids um, some of the minor algae that you may have, um, it's so far it seems to be well worth it. Not had any issues with the corals uh, or invertebrates uh, or the uh, fish that are in here. Uh, everybody's still happy, healthy swimming, doing their thing, chilling on the rock. That's his favorite spot We're right there. If you see the blenny there, that is his favorite spot to sit at. That is his perch. 
he has claimed it, and nobody's taken that away from him. Um, so, and if you can see right back down there, you can kind of see an arm of a of my serpent starfish. Yeah, he's he's alive and doing his thing. Uh, odd place for him. Normally, he's uh, he's usually right about down under here somewhere. So, seeing him up there, yeah, not overly concerned, but at least I know he's moving around and, and doing his thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess we'll just get to it then. Let's dump this one right on in here. And in we go. Round number six is in. Let's see where we go from here. So, if this rock starts to show improvements, I may go ahead and uh, maybe do some more removal of the main problem and go from there. Um, that might be a, a couple weeks down the road. I just want to make sure that the, that rock there doesn't can get any new growth. Uh, better yet, if it uh, starts dying off, then I will definitely start uh, taking a piece out and uh, clearing it off and putting it back in. So, there we have it. Another day in the books. And um, I gotta go make some water for my auto top off because I ran out. So, I'm gonna go do that. And uh, thanks again for watching. If uh, you wanna follow this, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, see where this product takes us. Uh, if you've never dealt with Bryopsis before and you're not sure if that's what's in your tank, I would say go ahead and treat it as if it was Bryopsis uh, and, and remove that rock that it's on and uh, get that out of your tank uh, as, as quickly as you see it. This stuff is no joke. It took probably just on that one rock just this little rock right here that's probably a good oh I'd say about a two pound rock just on that little rock it took me 15 minutes I kid you not 15 minutes to pull off what I can pull off uh, that stuff is on there uh, once it gets embedded in those, those little pores of that rock it is a pain to get out uh, however, uh, a little to my surprise, while I was pulling this stuff off, and I'm not sure where I found him at, he's I think on the back side of this rock, a little mini bristle starfish. Now, I didn't think I had any in here, but lo and behold, I do. So that was a nice little happy surprise, uh, seeing his little arm, uh, wiggling around sticking out of the rock trying to figure out what was going on um so yeah there we go um so there we have it another day in my dog has come to say hi to me and uh there we are have a great weekend dose number seven that will be it's today's friday that would be Monday when I will do that. So that might be Monday evening when I get that uploaded um, after I get out of work and whatnot. So Monday will be the next video. That will be the next dose. We will see if we have any changes to this rock or any of the algae that's going on in this place here. Um, I thought I did see one spot that was interesting, but now I don't know where it was at. Um, it could have been just uh, when I kicked up the, the sand and sediment that uh, some stuff made it look like there was something on it. So I didn't, maybe that's all it was, but I don't see it now. So the MP40s may have blown off the sand on it. But there you go. Have a great one, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.